they distinguished persons on the dais, president, CIA, CII, North Bengal chapter, seven others, our industrialist friends, Mr. Pavan Kumar Mitra, dignitaries from our neighboring countries, Consulate General staying at Kolkata <coughs> from Nepal, Bangladesh and Bhutan diplomats and some other distinguished personalities on the DAS and of the DAS. First of all, I beg to be apologized for not staying here a couple of hours and because I have some other pre-scheduled program today. Of course, some programs related with present political scenario and then I have to leave celebrity for Calcutta today by 440 flight. So I take you leave in advance that you should excuse me for not uh, spending much time here in this prestigious 7th North Bengal Contract 2019 being organized by CII North Bengal Chapter. We have noticed in the previous years, after the new government under the leadership of Ms. Martha Banerjee, which came into power 2011 and again in 2016, people of West Bengal voted our honorable Chief Minister to power again. In this short regime, our Chief Minister has visited North Bengal. I think as least once in every month, be it Darjeeling Hills, Kalimpong, Kashiya, Duas, of course Shilaguri, and some other parts of Uttar Dinajpur, Dukhin Dinajpur, Malda, and Alipurduar. We have never witnessed such a Chief Minister in the past to take all the government officials right from the Chief Secretary to the video level, right from DGP to OCICs of local PS to deliver administration and to deliver service at the doorstep of every citizen. Previously, for certain reasons, we have noticed that people from North Bengal were residing in the remotest corner of the state, bordering areas, they feel neglected that North Bengal, Northern Zone of our vast state peoples 
are being neglected like anything. Road connectivity, electricity, infrastructure development, education, health, industry, and so on. North Bengal has not been focused as it should be. But after 2011, I think after Vidhan Chandra Rai, this is first initiative from the Chief Minister to visit the remotest corner right from Joyga to Hili border to see the potentiality, the development prospect and also the immense suffering of the people at large. So, he has taken a decision which is revolutionary. It is first of its kind in the country that branch secretary has been created near Shiriguri under Jorvaiguri district, Fulbari and Uttar Kona is it is now functioning several government departments, all line departments having its offices and all the departments they are delivering, they are supporting the people of North Bengal, the industrialists, the other investors to grow with the beautiful North Bengal and many important departments with officers already been appointed there and it is functional. It is a milestone decision and program taken by this government under Mamta Banerjee. Number two, the road connectivity. When we came into power, I was hasted to look after the development of North Bengal and I used to take travels uh, not less than 8 to 10,000 kilometer per month. So I know what is the extreme sufferings to across this road which was horrible at that time. But within a very first span of time, now we have resolved many land related issues. This East West corridor right from Sasuavari Asam border to Kishan Ganj, we have resolved the long disputed land issues at uh, Dhukkuri and also Fulbari. We have successfully handed over lands for making new routes. Asian Highway 2 and Asian Highway 48 connecting Nepal, Bhutan, 
Bangladesh. And it will be very, very useful route for trade and commerce in relation with these neighboring countries. So far, Bangura Airport is concerned, Dr. Amit Mitro has emphatically mentioned that zero refueling charges, highest growth rate, and at that time, at the instance of our Honorable Chief Minister, I took the initiative to hand it over to hand over. 26 acres of land for of making it possible for life learning facilities and at that time it was 430 the huge infrastructure shut down starting from uh, 12 or 12.30 in the known to 430. But after this instrumental lighting system and all other facilities, our Honorable Chief Minister he spoke to the then Minister in Charge Defense, I think A.K. Anthony, and I remember Arun Mishra the then principal secretary to the civil aviation and they allowed the airport for night landing facilities up to 10.30. It's a very good initiative on behalf of our government. We crossed all the present norms to resolve this land problem and handed over peaceful position to the Airport Authority of India. Again, 110 acres land are now very much needed for further expanding of this important airport not only connecting our North Bengal people, but also connecting some of the part of Nepal, catering the needs of some of the parts of Bhutan, and the people particularly residing Kishan Ganj and Purnia district. So, government is now ready with 110 acres of land and I think by January 31st it will be the process will be completed so that the airport authority can take initiative for expanding these 500 course mega expansion program at Bhattabhraya. Some other important national and state highways. Our government constantly keeps in touch with Indian government. Maybe the government headed by UPA or NDA, it doesn't matter. Government is a continuous process. Some person will take over and some person will go. It is obvious. So our government has taken much interest for developing of the road connectivity and I am happy to let you know that the 10 kilometer stretch, the works has been at a halt 
at Istanbul, the ANC signed up the what? It is the story of 2006-7. After the last of 10 years, why are all the chief ministers are now? That responsibility vested to go come there and he will look after the uh, matter to resolve these issues. Both Dhukuri uh, bypass 10 kilometers and 10 kilometers Islampur. Dhukuri previously will resolve and this Islampur bypass. Major problems 